Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do... Anyways, I'm going to do a story time today for you guys because you all know I got some shit to say. You probably all didn't know that, so I don't know why I say you all know I got shit to say because you probably don't know all the shit I have to say, but I thought I would... Maybe thought you could like, you know, read my mind. And I'm not naked, by the way. I'm sure you knew that. And I'm sorry for the shadow in this video. I don't know what it is about my lighting and the walls and they just shadow. Okay, anyways, in this story time video, I am going to talk to you guys about the time that I was rejected because I was fatter in person. Story of my life. This is why us big girls need to like not stay offline dating, which I have a girlfriend now, so we're all good. But try to, I don't know. Cause you all girls, you know that you try to post the most flattering angle and you know, most of the time your money maker is up here, unless you know you got a beach bod, then your money maker is everywhere. But for us plus size girls, a lot of us, we like to use, you know, we're going to use our more flattering angles. That's just common sense. We don't want to look ugly on our social media. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. So anyways, yeah, this is the time that I got rejected online. So from online because I was fatter in person. So if you want to see how this unfolds, then please keep watching and yeah. I'll see you at the end of the video or in the next video. Who knows? Bye. Okay, so this happened probably, when did it happen? I was prob. oh, it was my freshman year of high school. I think it was right before I was going into high school. I, I don't know how many of you are familiar with yearbook, but yearbook was kind of like a MySpace back then. It was like hot and popping back in the day. I don't know, shout out if any of you, if any of you have had yearbook. And I had gotten on it. And um, I remember because that's when I first got extensions and I just felt like I was the sexiest bitch alive because of those extensions and I was fixing to be a freshman and I was like, yo, this is my year. This is my shit. And come to find out, I got put in my place real quick. Okay, so I get on my yearbook and I start talking to this guy and he seems real nice, friendly. We were just talking as friends. We started kind of being interested in each other, and he was like, oh, you're so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. And I told him, I was like, I'm a bigger girl. If we ever decide to meet in person, I want you to know that, and I, you know, I want it to be up in front. You know, I always talked about how I was insecure with my body, and I told him that. Apparently, he, he didn't, either didn't believe me, or I was bigger than he, you know, than he imagined in his head. So, let me get my pillow. Apparently, he didn't believe me when I said that I was bigger in person. And I always like, I mean, back then I would like to tell people, hey, I, yeah, I, I got, I guess, have a pretty face going on, but there's a lot more going on downstairs that probably you can't tell in the picture. And it's just not as flattering, so that's why I haven't put it. And because I'm so scared, I've always been scared of like meeting somebody and like being rejected. And here's why, because it happened. So this guy I've been talking to, well, I figure out he is coming to move, and he's going to start going to school where I'm going to school. We're going to be in the same grade, everything. So, we talked about that. Come to find out, get this. Get this. We ended up riding the same bus together. We lived probably five miles from each other. Yeah, so we were riding the bus together. And the first day of school, we get on the bus, and I see him. And I recognize him. And I guess he didn't fucking recognize me. Because it didn't say one damn word to me. Didn't even, I'm pretty sure he didn't even look at me. So either he was trying to act cool about it. Because he's like, oh shit. This is not what I thought it was going to be. Or he really didn't recognize me. Which, you saw pictures of me. I know you fucking recognize me. You, I'm not that fucking different. So, other than my weight. I, mean, I still have the same facial features. I still have the features that you saw. So anyways, he, like I said, he proceeds to not talk to me. He's a couple seats behind me. And he proceeds not to talk to me. Nothing. So, you know, the shy person that I am, I'm like, he would have talked to me if he recognized me. He, he would, you know, 
unless he's shy, but I seriously doubt that. So, I don't know, I think I ended up saying something to him on the bus. I kept looking at him, hoping that he would be like, you know, you fucking know me, I know you, we talked about this, but, so we were talk, or, I started talking to him, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm the girl that you've been talking to on my yearbook. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Excuse me? This is the part where I get angry, because... You could have said, oh yeah, and then blew it, blew me off or something and acted like, you know, you weren't really as interested and we could be friends and stuff. That would be perfectly fine. But to sit there and say, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you kidding? We talked yesterday about this same situation that's happening right now and you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about? Yeah. So he basically blew me the fuck off. He pretended like he didn't know who I was. Or anything. And I figured out that, I mean, obviously you think, okay, maybe he really just doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Maybe he's thinking he was talking to another girl. Okay, so, you know, my naive freshman self, I'm like, okay, whatever, blow it off. I was crushed, but, you know, I got over it. Well, come to find out, I had a friend that moved, another new girl, she moved to the school. I became friends with her. And they started dating the guy that I talked to and her. And this had been years later, so, and I already had a relationship, so I wasn't, it wasn't a big deal. Well, she come to find out I was talking to her about it because, you know, she happened to be dating him. So I'm like, hey, this is what happened between us, and it was really awkward. And she proceeded to tell me exactly what he said about me. And that was that, yeah, I didn't even recognize her. She was just so much bigger than I thought she was. <laughs> Yeah. And I was like, I fucking told him I am a bigger girl. I told him that. And the fact that he's that shallow to not even acknowledge me, to not even say, hey, you know, you're not who I thought you were. You're a cool girl. We can be friends, but it's just not what I'm interested in. That's fine. But to sit there and act like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, and then turn around and like talk shit about me so bad and yet you had a thing for me at one point I don't know so yeah that's why that's why I'm blessed to have met the girlfriend I have now because she saw me in person and she liked what she saw I guess and it was never any worry about oh crap you know is she gonna think I look better in pictures and she's not gonna want to date me anymore no, that was never the case. She knew what I looked like. She, uh, I reached out to her, but, you know, she knew what I looked like. She found me attractive, I guess. Who would have thought? That is the time that I got rejected because I was fatter in person than in pictures. And, you know, it could be because uh, he, we were both freshmen and he was a freshman and guys are already not as mature as some ladies and we all know that so and plus being a freshman and being his age it could just be an age thing but it's to me it's a disrespectful thing and I don't care how old you are usually when you're young you learn to respect people at a young age and to me that was just disrespectful on his part to act like I was some scum on the bottom of his shoes and okay yeah. Alright guys, that is the end for my story time video. It's cranky, he woke up. So, she won't give us a look. Anyways, you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see what's next. Um, love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! For you to watch me do it, yeah. Um,